Hello, in this Steam Deck video, I'm going to show you the save state, load state and hotkeys for Nintendo DS. So this is if you set your via EMU deck slash Melon DS slash, you know, Melon DS core using Retro Arc. I've got a separate video covering that. Feel free to check out the link in the description. It's really simple. So this can be done if you're directly launching in Retro Arc or use Emulation Station, which is what I'm doing. And this is the Epic Noir theme. So if I launch up a game, by default, you will load the state that I've already, you know, got saved. So first of all, how do you save a state? So imagine if I was to... And... Actually, so that's the first thing I'll probably, you know, to show you is this particular key. To right now, I've got the top screen as the main big screen. If you want the bottom screen, because right now I can't actually touch on here. If you want the bottom screen as the main big screen, which allows you to touch on it as well, just press R2. And that's it, you don't need to do anything else. And obviously, I, if there was any touch you know, commands available here, this is where you would be able to touch it. So that's the first thing. Next thing is, let me just go a little further ahead. Okay. To save a state, you press the select button, which is this one here, and press R1. You see, it says save state down there. And now, if let's say I was to go a little further up here, and now if I want to load that state, you press select and L1. It's loaded that state back. Okay, that's cool stuff. Now, let me show you the fast forward command, which is. And let me have like a little enemy here. If I press the select and R2, everything is just a lot faster now, including obviously Mario, because everything's just been fast forwarded. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it's just too difficult to play. Otherwise, it would, you know, like this. And so those are the main hotkeys and shortcuts. The other one is if you press L3 and R3, so if you press the two analog sticks in, you get the pause menu, the quick menu, and on here you can, you know, change save as well, change save, you know, state slots. You can undo a save and a load in case you don't want to do that, in case you've accidentally done it. So that way, if you, let's say you accidentally saved and oh, maybe you're in a worse place, or maybe you've just died and it's going to be a constant loop accident, accidentally did that in God of War, then you can just, you know, obviously that's on PlayStation, not Nintendo, but you can obviously reverse it. You can mess around with the controls as well from here. You can go to like port one controls. Feel free to you know mess around with this as you see a fit. And you can record, stream, and you can check out any achievements if there are any using retroachievements.org. And that's that. The last you know command I want to show you is so to get off this you just press L3 and R3 again. And from here you can actually you know go to now you can go to quick menu and you can go to core options video and you can change the resolution as well and you know the you know audio settings for example okay to get off this menu press the analog sticks in again it's me, Mario. it is indeed the next thing is how to actually quit out of this without exiting emulation station how do you go back to emulation station you press the select and start buttons together and that's it it goes back into emulation station so it quits out of it if you're in retro arc you'll just quit out of the game and go back into retro arc so that's it there's not much more to it than that if you have any questions feel free to post on the discord group link in the description or post in the comments all links for setting up the emulator and etc etc will be available in the description if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.